In this example, we're going to solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 6x equals 0 by factoring. And this is one of those examples that will it'll give students some trouble, even though it's not overly difficult. And, and here's why. Most quadratic equations that we have, especially the ones that are set equal to 0, are trinomials that are set equal to 0. But here we only have two terms. So when, when we look at how to factor this guy, it can just be a little different than the way we typically do it. Uh, usually we'll set up two empty sets of parentheses and try to figure out what will FOIL to give us our trinomial, but this isn't a trinomial. But don't forget, we have a lot of different ways to factor quadratics. Uh, another way that we can look at other than trial and error is to see if these two guys have any common terms. And that's what students often forget is uh, there's a lot of different ways to factor quadratics. And so when you look at x squared and 6x, you'll notice that there's a common factor of x. So we can factor that x out of these two terms. You can think of it as undistributing an x. We're going to pull an x out of these two terms since it's common. To both of them and then we'll try to think what would I need here so that if you multiplied it by x you would get x squared well that would be an x and what would you need here so that if you multiplied it by x you would get 6x well obviously that'd be a 6 so we'd have x times x plus 6 thus that's the same actually as x squared plus 6x you can think of just distributing this x through and you're right back where you started. And so in, in actuality, we have x times x plus 6 is equal to 0. And, and check it out. We've factored the quadratic. We've created a product here. All right. Um, so what we'll do next is our natural next step. We'll set each of these individual factors equal to 0. And so we'll have x equals 0 and x plus 6 equals 0. Now this first um, e equation here, that actually throws students off as well. Here we have x equals 0 and there's nothing to do. We're done. x equals 0 would be one of the solutions to the quadratic equation. Now the second equation we have to solve for x a little bit. We'll subtract 6 to the right hand side and get x equals negative 6. And that would be your other solution but x equals 0 and x equals negative 6 would be your two solutions to the quadratic equation. And, uh, and so sure enough, you can test these. You can take them and plug them in. 0 squared plus 6 times 0, it does in fact equal 0. So just remember, if you only have two terms, you can look at factoring this guy potentially by just pulling out a common factor, and you've got your factorization. Then you'll set each of those individual factors equal to zero to get your final answer.